Hi Leo, it's Tuesday, we're gonna do your reading. So, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm gonna show you pre-shuffle real quick. I did ask for money and love. I think we're gonna get a love rating, but this is just pre-shuffle. For, as for signs, I did ask, I am asking for signs. Strong butterfly, okay, so that might be meaningful. Um, help you recognize this as your reading, or it could be something that you need to watch for. Um, also, ladybug and umbrella, okay? Let's look at what came through, I believe, about work, purpose, um, that sort of thing. We have the king of, the king of wands came through last, which is all about taking action, decisive action and um you showed up in your own reading with the strength card that's always an indication of a strong reading for me um so this is you know somebody strong somebody that can persevere but it's also it's also balance which is interesting because it came up with the justice card so libra and leo um this is you know being able to tame that beast or it, it, it's a it's it's the lion and the lamb you know so it's strength, it's perseverance, but it's also the wherewithal in the the wherewithal to keep going, but the um, discernment of you know of not overdoing it, but not underdoing it. Okay, so these these speak pretty loudly. I do feel like there's a need to take action on something to do with work, um, even though it may be difficult. Get it over with. You've got. Success and recognition with the Six of Wands and Ten of Wands. I also got, I kept getting this, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? So I don't really feel like it's somebody saying that to you. I feel like it's ask yourself, what are you talking about? It has something to do with this victory and this burden. So um, just, you know, monitor your thoughts and your words. If you're talking to, maybe you're talking a lot about how hard it is or how hard it's been something like that, or um, success, or something where you need to monitor, you know, maybe pull back on your on your words a little bit. So let's look at love. It looks like you, in, like I said, we are gonna lay out a spread. This is just pre-shuffle. All my videos are timeless. If it doesn't resonate, just check out the other videos. Also, the extendeds or almost personals, as I prefer to call them, will be linked down below. Those are amazing. I highly recommend them, okay? They do come through like personal readings, okay? At the fraction, at a fraction of the cost. So we have nine of wands. Here we have 10 of wands. So there's just a, a, lot, a lot of burden, but it's coming to a close. You may just need that extra push. This is not typically like a Leo, so you gotta kind of take it as it resonates. So it looks like with regarding a new a new beginning in love, you still feel you know somewhat tied, bound. I think you know what I think. I think you can't decide whether or not you want to walk away because you're afraid if you'll miss out, and they might be end up with somebody else, but which is kind of keeping you in a in between. Or maybe you have walked away, but you're dealing with some struggle of not really totally letting go. Um. We're gonna dive in deeper, but there is a new beginning in love. But why is there a missed opportunity in feeling trapped and regarding action? And see how red, I mean, talk about love. Look at that, it's crazy how beautiful and red that is. Okay, so let's, um, let's do a spread. So how are you guys? Hope you're well. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please give me messages that Leo needs to know. Ooh, Queen of Swords. Hmm. That could be a, Le a Libra again. Oh, goodness. Okay. Yeah. Ah, looking, this, look at these. Both of these are strong looking to the future cards. So Queen of Swords, she's somebody who doesn't put up with a lot. She knows what she deserves. She's been through some, she's had experience and she cuts out things that don't serve her. Um, and this three of wands is, looks like it's all about ship coming in. And again, uh, oh, I thought I had a message about, I thought I felt balloon. So balloon might be a sign. Cause when I saw this, it was very familiar. So butterflies, balloon, ladybug, um, thought there was another one. 
Butterflies balloon, ladybug. Okay, the Queen of Swords is somebody that cuts things out. Why? Not because it's easy right now, but because it's it's long term going to be better. All right, she doesn't put up with false truths, half truths, twisted truths. She wants the truth. She's strong. So that looks like that's going to be overall energy. Oh my! Bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant. That's a beautiful card. So Hierophant is about um, truth and ethics, tradition. It could be a high-level relationship, seeking wisdom. Owls are about wisdom. Your energy, Queen of Pentacles, there you are. Strong, resourceful, stable. And look at the color, how the color combination is working out here. The green with the candle. Ooh, the devil. Capricorn energy, something toxic. So it's like, and also, hmm, with the those spider webs, it's like there's a, it's like a, a, a tangled web we weave. And then look, the braid. There, you guys are gonna get strong reading. The braid is woven. It's something has tenure, time behind it. Eight of Pentacles. I, okay, again, I think you've put a whole lot of um, energy into someone or something. It could apply to money or work, um, but I, I think for a lot of you, this is love. Okay, here's your person. So there is love there. They do love you, and it does look like they love you deeply. I don't know what the problem is. Eight of, I'm sorry, King of Cups. Um, oh. Yeah, they're thinking about the past. Your person does want this. They do want to return. Six of Cups. Balloons again. Remember I said balloons? So that could be a sign for you. Five of Swords. Hmm. Interesting. So conflict. Your person is conflicted. It's maybe they have a hard time showing love. I'm gonna dig in deeper, dive in deeper. Seven of Pentacles, recent past, waiting. So I think this is just coming through very clear. King of Pentacles, wow. So I'm also feeling King of Swords, which indicates for me with the King and Queen of Swords like a relationship that may be strained or difficult. But with this King of Pentacles, it looks like if this could be a power couple. Um, or you see this person as somebody that you could be in a very strong, like it's it's kind of got that feel of, it, this is like the perfect mix. You and this person could be perfect together, but there's, and they love you. But there's an energy of waiting, seven of pentacles, eight of pentacles. This is um, motivation, dedication. I just, I don't know. Wait, what's the problem here? Oh, the lovers. You guys could be in a twin flame. I'll put the links below for those twin flame almost personals. They're very, very detailed. The lovers. Wow. And maybe there's a... Maybe could, could there be some confusion about money, like this person being perfect because it, you'd be, you know, financially good together? Okay, nine. <laughs> this person is playing violin on a heart. Look at that. Like, stop playing games with my heart. Wow. Knight of Cups. Wow. I've never even looked at it like that before. Um... Okay, I feel like shut up. There's that King of Swords that's feeling. Oh my gosh, look at the outcome, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so there's a strong financial, uh, money looks good, and maybe that's part of the attraction to this person, that together you'd you know, be some sort of power couple. Wow, Nine of Pentacles, money is strong here. King of Pentacles, yeah. I, I do feel a power couple. And there's the six of wands again. I may have to pull this in just a moment. 
see this is going to come around six of wands and wheel of fortune i don't know what the problem is though maybe there isn't one you've got higher fent at the bottom it looks like you get you've been waiting for something to come somebody to realize your value somebody to realize that you're a power couple your person does have love for you, but I need to figure out what this conflict card is. It's like there's a hole in their heart or there's a shadow. I don't know why that looks like Abraham Lincoln. Um, but in the outcome, you have nine of pentacles, which is self-love and nurturing. You have ten of pentacles. Six of wands being recognized and the star, which is, can, which is coming true. And then like, oh, oh. I didn't realize I shuffled these. The, here we have the Ten of Cups and the Empress. I mean, your outcome's beautiful. What are we? What are we looking at here? What's going on with this um, Devil card? Maybe you're obsessed. Remember, Leo, it doesn't have to be on your timeline. It, everybody's in their different place. Um. Five of Wands, so strategy, um, conflict, and there's that Eight of Swords again, feeling trapped. I think somebody's obsessed here with, the... there's the King of Swords again. So, okay, it, there's been a, a rough relationship. I, there, there's two dynamics here. Either there's two relationships, four people, or there's two dynamics. This relationship goes back and forth from being a power couple and what could be like that couple that everybody looks at and goes, wow, they're beautiful, they're smart, they're successful, they're established. It's like it's got that feel, yeah, but, there, but something about it doesn't, you don't trust, it's burdening you. Um, and it's like it's playing game. Uh, does this person playing games with your heart, making a decision? Why do we have that? There's that four of cups. Hmm. Um, I'll tell you what a tangled web we do. Tell me more about this devil card with the five of wands and the eight of swords. I mean, money looks good. I think even without, I don't, I think you're going to be fine. Oh my gosh. Okay. Could be twin flame. Foundation. I think it just looks like maybe it's a bit of an illusion. Four of Swords. Um, for whatever reason, I think, Leo, you have pulled... There's the Justice card again. Strong Libra and energy. For whatever reason, you have pulled away. And... It, and um, there's a pulling away energy. And you're trying to decide what to do. I'm going to have to dig dig more on what. The extendeds are really good in this situation. They go over. We do a spread on them. We go into what would they say if they had no ego. Is it a twin flame? We get tw twin flame confirmation. Um, where are you in the journey? What are next steps? What would they say if they had no fear of embarrassment? What are their innermost thoughts? And the advice, even time frame comes through most almost always. But the advice is amazing strong. So... Um, there is a Leo extended, my favorite Leo video is called um, She's So High, and there's an extended, there's a almost personal for that or extended for that. I'll link that below. But those, I mean, what I'm not getting the nitty gritty details, but what I am getting is there's a focus of truth, stability, um, traditional relationship. You've got somebody that is like almost perfect almost perfect, you know, but they, they're going to have to step up or something. There's something you don't trust. And they've got some heart. They, I feel like they've played with your heart. They've kept you waiting. Yeah, you want a new beginning, Six of Swords. There's the Emperor. A lot of you guys are probably feeling a twin flame. Ace of Pentacles. So tell me... Um, how does this person view Leo? Leo? So 
So yeah, they feel like you've walked away. And either they have options or you do. There's that ladybug again. But I also feel like you're their top, you're the one they want. See how she's pointing that one star? How does this, I, I think they see you in a very high regard. How does this person feel about Leo? Nine of Wands. Oh, see, they've, I think they've hurt you. But that Eight of Cups is coming, is returning hurt. Oh. Okay, so this person doesn't want to come back. So maybe you just need to stop worrying and let them do all the work. Leo, don't try and fix what they, if you didn't break it, don't try and fix it. What makes us think we can fix things that we didn't break? So that could be the whole thing here. Maybe you know this could be a power couple. Um, you know they love you, but something's just not right. It could be a timing thing because, I mean, again, we have that con conflicted relationship. But then we also have a power couple. But look at that. Ace of Cups and Ace of Pentacles. I think you're just going to have to wait because they're going to, you don't want them to come back until it's stable. Yeah. But there is a strong vibe of that here. There's Umbrella again. So how about that? So umbrella, that's a sign. Um, let me grab an oracle and then we'll wrap up. Powerful. I mean, they do want to come back. I just think that you're worried. And you know, you never, I, ne I never, I never advise waiting for someone. I think it, it lowers your, your vibration. Oh, remember what I said in the beginning? Watch your words. How crazy. Watch your words. Parrot spirit. There was something in the beginning I said I kept hearing. Um, what are you talking about? And I instead, I, I don't, you might want to go back and watch the beginning if you don't remember. But in the beginning I said I kept hearing. What are you talking about? But instead of somebody saying that to you, it was something that you should be asking yourself. What are you talking about? Like maybe... Be careful with what you talk about as far as success goes and as far as um, strain goes. So strong message here. Very strong message. Look at these four. Four, five, four, three. And two owls. Everything pulls together. So this is pretty, a pretty amazing like reading. You guys get some crazy, amazing readings that are like just crazy because I mean look at all the synchronicities so this breaks down to what 9 13 there's 14 um, and we did have twin flame energy so you know it could be twin flame but here we have wisdom owl spirit you see clearly now um Another thing that could be going on, strong force here, another thing that could be going on is with this, these two together is seeking, you know, help from somebody older, wiser, but just be careful who you do that with. Be careful who you talk to. Something about watch your words and then hire fin. I mean, amazing reading. This person does love you. They do want to come back, but you don't need to wait. You need to make your dreams come true on your own and don't try to fix something that you didn't break. You know what I mean? If you didn't break it, don't don't think you can fix it. If you try to fix it or let them come back too soon, then it's not going to be the the um, energy or the vibe that you want. You know, you want to don't pick the fruit before it's ripe. Okay? Yeah. Delayed gratification, it might be hard right now to hold back, but you need to hold back because if, unless you want to be the masculine role in the situation, you want them to step up, then you step back, lean back. So they'll lean forward. Okay. Cause it is happening. All right, Leo, but don't wait for him because you got better things to do. People to meet, places to go. Love you guys so much. <laughs> Thank you for this beautiful reading and I will see you soon. Bye Leo.